All right, we want to simplify this expression um, with fractional exponents. Uh, so you want to start maybe by combining the, the two x's in the bottom here, um, x to the negative 1 and x to the 2 fifths. And you'll definitely want to have a calculator that can handle fractions because that'll make your life a lot easier. So the top for now is going to stay the same. And in the bottom, I've got negative 1 as one exponent and 2 fifths as the other. And since we're multiplying them together, we're going to add the exponents. So in my calculator, I would type negative 1 plus 2 fifths. And um, my calculator makes it a decimal, but I know how to switch it to a fraction. So I get x to the negative 3 fifths. Okay, and now I have um, some x, an x in the top and an x in the bottom. So I can use the quotient rule and do 1 minus a negative 3 fifths. So 1 minus negative 3 fifths, changing it to a fraction, I get x to the 8 fifths. Eight fifths. Now since it's positive, it can, it, you know, I'll just keep it in the top. And then the y is the same thing. I can um, use the quotient rule to subtract their exponents. So we get 8 fifteenths minus a negative 3 fifths. And for that I got 17 fifteenths. And it's, again, it's positive. All right. If we, had, if we were stuck with any negative exponents, we would have to you know, move it to the opposite floor. By floors, I mean denominators and numerators. Um, but in both cases, after the subtraction, I ended up with a positive number mainly because we were um, subtracting negatives here. When you subtract a negative, you get positive. Or, you know, when, not necessarily you get positive, but when you subtract a negative, you add. Um, so that's, your, that's gonna be your final answer. And again, a calculator that does fractions for you is gonna make all the difference.